Hey guys, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. Um, today, we're heading back to the tribal with some merfolk tribal. <clears throat> so guys, if you saw my last gameplay of merfolk tribal, oh my gosh. I, um, I had a hell of a time, uh, not gonna lie, with Merfolk Tribal, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, here I decided to make some, make some fun. I honestly, uh, have been having a blast with Quasi Duplicate, and so, uh, since I do have a full playset of Quasi Duplicate, I've decided to, um, make a tribal around it, so I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm already in blue, what blue cards, I uh, have a, I always call him a lieutenant, um, and so basically, a creature that says other of that creature type gets plus one, plus one, and sometimes some other buff, like, uh, Dread Baron, actually, if you guys, um, remember my mono black zombie video, Dread Baron would give him plus one, plus one, and Death Touch. Um, but Merfolk Mistbinder only gives one buff, the plus one, plus one buff, and that's totally fine. So, what we have is a blue-green deck with Kamina, um, who is a great commander for the Merfolk. A um, couple of just either go wide or beef up. Um, a full playset of Deep Root Elite, which is fantastic card to just beef up more and more with your um, Merfolk Silver Gill Adept to uh, be able to draw a card. And of course, I will always most more than likely have a Merfolk in my hand and play Silver Gill Adept with me. Um, Miss Cloak Herald, I, I, I did this mostly for the Curious Obsession um, and Miss Cloak Herald. Uh, just a little combo, being able to always draw a card because Miss Cloak Herald cannot be blocked. Um, and then chart, of course, to help me draw some cards out. And so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the deck. Um, Just go quasi merfolk right now until I can come up with a better name. But um, yeah, and so something I was watching some other YouTubers who play this as well um, do is they go into a constructed event and play it out here um, to try to get some rewards, I guess. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna play it out over here um, with some quasi merfolk. With some quasi merfolk. I only had one game of practice with this, so this could be a total bust again. Guys, um, I'm kind of feeling bad that I even am making a second Merfolk deck, but the thing is that um, my first Merfolk deck wasn't even optimized, wasn't even well put together. I'd be honest with you, it was bad. It was, at least from what I can remember, maybe you guys go back to the video and I won three games in a row, but that probably didn't happen. Um... So, yes, I'll keep this. Kamina is a very great card. A 2-4 for 3 is very good. I have all the mana. Um, I have even enough mana to get Kamina out on time. Uh, Deep Root Elite actually will let Kamina come out for 3-4, so... Even better. <coughs> Sorry. I'm playing uh, some Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. That's a fantastic game. Uh, just to get your minds off of, of magic for just a second. Fantastic. Uh, get it. Play it. Do it. It's fun. So much fun. Alright. Well. He did not kill the Deep Root Elite. So, we're going to play Camino. And put a counter on him. I 
you feel? How you feel, Bone? I wish they would have more commands, because I would have loved to say thank you. Right there. But So we're going to get rid of an island. I have discard fodder. Is this the black red discard that I saw the other day? I'm wondering. In combat. My turn. Let's see what we draw. Oh, nothing. Didn't draw anything. So, we'll combat. Uh, attack with Kamina. Dimage. And Shark Force. And enter. Arterial Flow. Well, man. I'm just going to discard lands, and actually islands, because we don't have... Just to keep the colors even. Yep. Yep. doing some stuff there, I tell you what. Alright, double silver gill adept doesn't feel bad. So, reveal silver gill adept. Draw a card. I'd like to get a mind breaker right now. Quick, tap five. Oh, I don't really care about uh, drawing right now. I really just want to get his life total down, but he probably killed me right here. And it's not because my deck's bad, it's because he's doing a great job. Tattered Mummy? I haven't even seen this card since Amonkhet. while we can hopefully get a land off of it. Submit. Okay, he's giving us the good game. I'll give him the good game anyways, but just wanna see if he's saying good game because of me or good game because of himself. What are you feeling here? So that's not enough damage, I want to say. enough damage, I want to say. I mean, you 
can say oops all you want, that's not an oopsable moment. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna concede, uh, cause he has me on the crackback, but this specter has been doing weird recently. <coughs> like, I wouldn't expect it to be doing good. Oh, um, by the way, before I forget to talk about it, guys, uh, I am getting that new mic, and Amazon says it is coming in Saturday, so I apologize for this mic. It's my $17 Walmart mic, just to be able to have volume, uh, be able to talk to you and your lovely selves. Oh, so please bear with me as... Or, as people would say, please support my progress as um, my channel is getting better. Um, still thinking about getting Elgato for Christmas. A uh, buddy of mine is selling it for 50 bucks, so I'm probably going to get it, if I'm be honest. It was weird, the two cards that we didn't see were Merfolk, Mistbinder, and um, Quasi Duplicate. So. You would think we'd see some cards. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go to our one Miss Cloak just in case we get Curious Obsession next turn. Uh, well, Chart, of course, actually would be live next turn too if he doesn't put anything threatening out on board. Which he didn't. Um. No? Yeah, combat. <coughs> And chart, of course. Ha. There's the curious obsession. Um. So hopefully, we curious obsession get a land. Well, no, no, no curious obsession anymore. He took vengeance on us. Silvergill Adept, Reveal Merfolk. Silvergill Adept, Reveal. Ah, land. Well, I can say this comfortably. I don't think we've missed a land drop. Or land drop. Or land drop. Are you just gonna one for one kill us from time to time? Hope our deck doesn't ever go off. Is that what you're looking for? Really? A Hyromancer's Cage on a Silver Guild Adept? I mean, sure, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. that, that was a smart play. Probably the smartest play ever. Uh, Miss Cloak Herald. And go ahead and curious obsession on the mystical hero. So we're doing this because this is basically the same amount of value. I have plus one plus one to all my merfolk. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, there we go. Uh, not not so much anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Read the cards before you play them, guys. I forgot the whole reason why Curious Obsession is a one drop to begin with. So your Pyromancer Cage again. On Miss. Miss Fighter. Well, I hate to tell you, but I don't think that was the right play. Turn. And I think this is turn. Seal away. Oh. What 
is your play at, sir? Are you just white black control? Do you understand that I'm drawing stuff as we speak? So hold on. One, two. One, two. Next turn we double quasi duplicate and make them five fives. Okay. Totally fine with that. Um we'll even have I guess we won't have enough mana left over. That's the real question. I guess we do. See if we can't draw us a card. So this is eight damage. Draw us a land, draw us a land, draw us a land. Come on. Land, 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 yes. So quasi duplicate number two. And you go. one win. Let's see how far we can get in the ladder today. <sighs> Come on, phone. Stop doing this. I'm trying to charge my phone while doing this, so I apologize for that, guys. out with family all day. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Why didn't I think of saying that before? Uh, of course, only in America. Uh, other places don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. But happy Thanksgiving if you're in a different country. Yeah. Um, be thankful. That's what this whole day is about for us here in Amar Amarica. Oh, don't mind if I do. Miss Cloak Harold. Now, come on with your Highland Lake. Come on with your Highland Lakes. Okay, well, you know we gotta do it. Curious Obsession number one on Miss Cloak Harold. Get in for some damage and draw a card. Whenever I use that combo, I just feel bad. Um, it makes me feel very bad. But it is uh, something they put in standard for a reason. Well, um, I mean, this is what we do, yes. This forces him to play a spell. Come on. Play your spell. Oh, sister, she have a judge. That was my best card. As I deal two more damage to your face. Yay, go team. Take action, draw a card. Oh, there's lands. You 
might want to deal with the Miss Club here. another white out we're definitely in you main turn kills to the inside. You understand that's not what you're supposed to do in a control matchup, right? Um well I guess while well, Camino's still able to be out, let's get him out. Bring him out, bring him out. I do make it number one. Draw a card by tapping three Marvel. That's what I mean to say. <clears throat> well, I'd like to be able to do some things soon, but it seems I might not. It seems I might have come to an impasse. So I can double quasi duplicate if I just find a miss by this. The only thing I'm really looking for is a. Spider. Yeah, get in for your four. Sure. Get some life link. Sure. Yeah. Sky controlled, whooping butt, taking names. So much fun playing this. Well, let's try it, of course, and he'll probably counter it. Nope, oh, cool. Um, 
Can we get rid of a land? And then we'll do this. Which he just will probably deafening Clarion. If I had to imagine, we'll probably get deafening Clarion. Search for his Kanta. There's no way on the crack that he would win, period. You know, with that 5 and a 7. Just sucks, man. We don't really have anything to defend our stuff. And that's the problem with, with, with the Merfolk. That was my problem in the first game, too. Against control matchups, we're just not that great. might be playing a thousand year storm deck, or he could just be playing Jessi Jeskai Control, or he can be playing as a control. I mean he just has all the burn. All the freaking burn. Oh let's see him burn some high spirit tokens, yeah. favorite decks to play. My first video I ever uploaded and everything. So. And here comes the charter course. There we go. Quasi duplicate next turn. Oh, 
we're going to Miss Binder. And quasi duplicate. I don't care, no one damaged me. And draw a card. I do not care. Duplicate the best binder. Storm cloak here. Yeah, sure. Do a one damage to me. I don't care. Ron has to die. There you go. Now you're getting it. You're down to one. If you can't get me with 17, I have 17. There we go. There's a win, guys. But just just to let you guys know, Thousand Year Storm, the extra quote unquote cast spells aren't actually cast, they're copied. And I've read up on this because I storming is my favorite thing to do. Um, if you if a card says when you cast and you're copying spells, then the copy doesn't count as a cast trigger; it counts as a copy trigger. Okay, so it wouldn't have triggered Niv Mizdrum. Not to say that he wouldn't have got a ton of value out of it. Just to say that it would it would not have triggered. Well, I like milling you down to five. Sure, mull, 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 mull. Well, grow. Not the best thing to see, especially with my slow butt hand right now. And I probably should have played Woodland Stream first. Now it's Naya. Well, Naya's fun. duplicate targets just because it beefs, beefs, and beefs. Deafening Clarion. Well, that's fine. Deafening Clarion. That's why I kind of stacked it on Deeper Elite, is because I had to fit the Heo Deafening Clarion there. Um, so we're going to do this in Charticle Sister. So, Uh, 
Mist Binder plus a quasi-duplicate next turn. And we probably have this game sealed out. Even if he deafening Clarions again, um, he'd have to probably get another white out for me to feel bad. Even then, I would still just probably uh, do deeper to elite next turn. Um, and and that, that double white is when you start looking at uh, settle the wreckage. Which is the only card I'm really afraid of. Starfall, how you have fallen. The gargoyles disapprove. This when I get to look at the stuff on the phone. And decline. That's three wins so far. Not bad. You know, way better than my first Merfolk deck, that's for sure. So one more win and we get the prize support back. I mean, we get the prize money back. The competition money.
there's the conceit. I forgot about uh, a lot of people aren't using Chain Whirler anymore, so I forgot about him. Well, there we go, guys. That was um the Merfolk deck, and it, you know it was pretty okay. Um, again, I'm, I'm not too happy about Merfolk. I am happy to see it do better. And again, maybe there's maybe there's something I'm missing. I am. Um, but I'm totally fine with how it played out. Um, so anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, do all the usual YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.